I want to talk about a really important property of the dot product. It can be used to find the angle between two vectors. So let's see, say we have two vectors u and v. Theta here is the angle between them, and it's going to be some angle between 0 and pi. And if I want to find it, I can use this property of the dot product. The cosine of theta equals the dot product of the two vectors divided by the product of their magnitudes. Remember, theta will always be between 0 and pi, or 0 degrees and 180. Let's see how this works. Here's an example. Let u equal 3, negative 1, and v equal 2, negative 5. Let me first sketch these as position vectors, and then I'll compute the angle between them. Now, recall that when you sketch a vector as a position vector, you're putting its initial point on the origin. So 3, negative 1 will be the terminal point. 3, negative 1 is here. And so my vector u is right here. So that's its position vector. I'll label it u. And then v goes from the origin to 2, negative 5. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So something like this point here. Now sketching these beforehand gives us some idea of what to expect for the angle between them. This is v. The angle between them looks like it's going to be acute. So that's good to know ahead of time. <clears throat> Let's compute it. So we use this formula. Cosine theta equals the dot product of the two vectors, u dot v, over the product of their magnitudes. So I should calculate their magnitudes. Now, the magnitude of u is the square root of 3 squared plus negative 1 squared. The square root of 9 plus 1, root 10. And the magnitude of v is the square root of 2 squared, or 4, plus negative 5 squared, or 25. And that's root 29. OK, so I can write cosine of theta equals, on the, in the denominator, root 10 times root 29. Oops. 29. OK, now let's calculate the dot product, u dot v. It's 3 times 2, 6, plus negative 1 times negative 5, 5. So we get 11 over this product of square roots. I'll write that as the square root of 290, quicker to enter into the calculator. And that's cosine of theta. So if I want theta, I need to use inverse cosine. Theta will equal the inverse cosine of 11 over root 290. So let's calculate that. And I'd like my answer in degrees, so I'm going to make sure that I'm in degree mode, and I am. So inverse cosine of 11 divided by the square root of 290 equals 49.8 degrees. That's an approximation. And that looks about right. So remember, when you're calculating the angle between two vectors, use this formula. Very important. Very important application of the dot product. Cosine of the angle between two vectors equals the dot product of the two vectors divided by the product of their magnitudes.